Good morning. We're standing here on Jubilee Close on the eastern side of Hayward Heath. I'm about to show you around number 37, which is this rather lovely two bedroom in the terrace house. Uh, Jubilee Close, as you can see, it's made up of mainly these lovely little two bedroom houses. It comes off of Allen Road. So if you're going down uh, New England Road, just before you get to the America Lane shops, Allen Road is on your right hand side. If you come down Allen Road, if you turn left, that goes down to the uh, Hanbury Park football ground. If you turn right, you come into Jubilee Close. And this one is right at the end of the cul-de-sac as well. Um, so a lovely, lovely position. These houses behind us are actually on Western Road. It's a shame there's not an alleyway through to that because that'd be a nice little shortcut through to the local school at, on Eastern Road, St Wilfrid's. Um, Something, as you can see, it's nice to see a few cars parking now. I've sold this house probably four times over the years. Um, the owners have got those two parking spaces to the right of them, but obviously they can, if they ever really wanted to, park a lot more cars on the front garden. And there's loads of parking. So it's not like most modern developments where you'd be lucky to park a car within 300 miles of your house. This one, you could park several cars here. So let's show you around. It's the end of Terrace. The garden is southwest facing. Come inside. Outside, you've got the old bin store cupboard there, which is now just a very handy storage cupboard. They've got one of these double glazed front doors. And then let's show you around. So firstly, entrance hall, nice laminate, I think it's a laminate floor or carding flooring. Um, downstairs loo, all spotless. That is a really handy shelved cupboard. It's nice to have a downstairs loo with these little two bed houses. And then living room. Now, weirdly, I think the last three people I've sold this house for have all moved not long after moving into the house. These people have only been here, I think, a couple of years. But they've all ended up having babies very quickly and now feeling the squeeze. Our people are only moving because they want to relocate with work and be nearer to uh, family to help with all the childcare. But a lovely size lounge, plenty of room under the stairs, as you see, for a big telly. And then you've got the little dining area. The previous people had this as like a, a double desk in that area, but it is a little dining area. And you've got the kitchen, which our clients have, uh, I think, retiled and re-changed all these front doors. So all very, very nice. In fact, while we're here, I'll just show you the garden. So the garden, as mentioned, it's south face, uh, southwest facing because it gets uh, all the uh, sunshine all day round, really. Um, they've obviously got all this decking that catches the sunshine at different times of day. A little bit of lawn and that long bench there. So if you're one of those that has friends around for barbecues and so on, you've got lots of entertaining space. And there is that bit of potential, as, as next door has, to extend the house if you really wanted to. So a bit of potential, and obviously that's just the car park to the side. So come back in, I'm going to slip my shoes off. Now, geographically, as mentioned, we're over on the east side of town. Around the corner on America Lane, you've got a little parade of shops. Um, there's a, a great little nursery school, which is actually at the football ground, Hanbury Park football ground, uh, for little little ones. And there's a cafe around there. But you've got various things on Bentswood, uh, on um, America Lane, including the Bentswood Hub and Cafe, uh, great chip shop, and there's a little Morrison store. So you've got local shops within a five minute walk. Here's the main bedroom, good size. You've got one cupboard over the stairs, another cupboard there housing the boiler. So that's a modern gas boiler. Um, the other thing that's worth a mention is you can walk to several schools from where we are here. So you've got the Warden Park Primary Academy School up on New England Road. You've got some Wilfrid's Primary off of Eastern Road around the corner. And you've got the St Joseph's, which is the uh, Roman Catholic Primary School. And you could also walk into Lindfield from here. Secondary schools wise, children generally go on to Oat Hall Community College in Lindfield. That's the closest and that's got a farm, really lovely school with a farm where the kids actually get involved with all you can imagine to do with farming. Um, and then you've got a bus service running up and down America Lane and uh, New England Road, which links to the town and all the neighbouring districts. The railway station, according to Google Maps, is a 1.1 mile walk. And obviously this shower room's all been revamped as well, so really lovely. Proper big shower cubicle. This is big enough. I mean, it, when I sold it many years ago, there was a bath in here. This seems to be the rage nowadays. Everyone just wants a really super duper shower. So all that potential. So there you go. Two decent bedrooms up here and that lovely shower room, a lounge, a dining area and a nice little kitchen. One thing that some, you know, every time I've sold this house, everyone said, well, I'll probably take that wall down between the kitchen and the dining area. But no one seems to have ever done it. So they obviously live with it the way it is and it's all very good. But there you go. That's 37 Jubilee Close. It's for sale through Mantle McTaggart. 
do please subscribe to our YouTube channel or if you're really seriously looking for a property, register on our database because we are selling a lot of property that is not touching right move. So if you're one of those right move junkies, that is not the be all and end all. It's not, not everything is seeing right move. As us agents get murdered by right move for our costs and uh, we want to squeeze them. So in order to change your looking habits, you need to register with the agents direct if you're a serious buyer. Thanks for watching. Hope that's been useful.